Good morning. We are broadcasting live from St. Dominic's Priory. That's the school that you see behind me. And the same school that Rivers Camp attended earlier this morning. June Skiankamp um, shared a really touching speech. Ironically, the same speech River would have delivered on the day she was shot and killed. But the way forward for this family is the River Rebecca Skiankamp Foundation. And that, was, that is why we are here this morning. She's here to share more about this foundation and the work it aims to do to empower abused women. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Take us through now about the River Rebecca Stiankamp Foundation. Why did you set it up? What is the purpose of this foundation? The purpose of the foundation is Riva Rebecca Stiankamp Foundation against the abuse of women and children. And eventually we will be able to help them. We'll have refuges, but obviously we have to raise money to do that. So in the meantime, we're going the education route and speaking to pupils and young men and women who are going to be the future. Um, in your speech earlier on, you touched about the importance of children having an open relationship with their parents. Yes. Is that the message that you're driving throughout that your talks driving. at the schools? Uh, that is the most important thing. People who love them are their parents. But they must also build a platform where the parents will be able to... They will come to the parents and say if something is wrong or they need to share something with the parents. But they are also responsible for building that platform so that the children would want to come forward and speak to them. That's what the future of, of those, those people are going to be. And you also touched on about the foundation and the centre that's going to be set up. What kind of um, services is a centre ultimately going to provide, especially for abused women and, and, and children? Well, they'll be taken out of the abusive relationship and they will be moved to the refuge where they will be safe and away from all the abuse. And then secondly, they have to learn to build a, 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 a home away from where they've been. So they need educating maybe about uh, employment. They need to earn money, the women, so they can build another life for themselves, to rebuild their life. And then just the last question, June, your message now to young people as you go out and do the speeches, what is the number one message you're going to try and drive, especially for the younger generation? For the younger generation, I would say that the things that I said today about building the platform with the parents where they can go and speak to the parents if there's some problem and you know for us to help each other not to see something going on that's bad and, and abusive and, and not become involved we, we as, as people must love each other and they must they must be able to help other people that's what it's about Open, opening up about everything we don't hide away problems anymore. We, we deal with them. Well, that was June Skiankamp saying that the focus of the family now is the River Rebecca Skiankamp Foundation, which ultimately wants to build a centre which is going to be a refuge for abused women and children's rights. Back to you in studio.